Written by BNHA Yourself on Tumblr. You were so nervous as you stood outside of the psychiatric ward. Shoto had told you about his mum not being at home and how she was staying in a psych ward in order to get treatment for her mental instability. But it never really settled in until right now, standing at the bleak looking building. A warm, comforting hand touching your own brought you back from your thoughts. Looking over at the two-tone haired boy beside you, his face looking ever more stoic as he looked at the building as well. I hope your mother likes me. You mumbled without thought, your free hand covering your mouth slightly surprised at your own words. <laughs> you heard a low chuckle from Shoto as you two walked into the building, your fingers intertwined with his waving at the ladies who sat at the front desk. Both of them had warm smiles on their faces as they buzzed you through to the hallway where Shoto's mum stayed. You felt the ever so increasing feeling of butterflies in your stomach as you grew closer to her room, your hand slightly shaking from the anxious feeling pulling in your chest. Shoto's hand tightened around yours as you both reached her room his face also visibly nervous. You stood behind him as he knocked softly on the door, waiting a few moments before opening it. Mum? He spoke upon entering the room. You could almost hear his voice shake a little bit. You peered around from behind him, gasping softly at the sight of the woman in front of you. A white-haired, youthful-looking woman sat in a chair beside what seemed to be a relatively comfortable bed, peering out the window. Her face was now turned towards the door, as he too had just walked in. You had no idea exactly how beautiful Shoto's mum was. Sure, you'd seen some pictures from when he was younger, but they never quite captured how graceful she was in real life. Her hair reminded you of a peaceful winter's day, the colour of pure snow on the ground. You did a double take between the two of them. Finally, the puzzle piece of where his white hair and grey eye came from, as they were exactly the same as his mother's. Oh, Shoto! She exclaimed, audibly excited to see her youngest son. You're not quite sure if she'd noticed you standing behind Todoroki yet. Mom, um... There's someone I'd like you to meet. He spoke softly, his hand fumbling behind him to grab onto your sleeve, tugging it gently in an effort to coax you out from behind you. Mm. Who might that be? She said, an inquisitive tone to her voice. Her head tilting slightly, she really hadn't noticed you yet. You slowly came around from behind Shoto, your hands fidgeting nervously behind your back. Your heart felt like it was in your throat, an audible gulp being heard as you came into Ray's field of vision. Um, hi, I'm, um, I, uh, hello, was all you were able to mumble towards his mother, feeling absolutely embarrassed. You couldn't believe you couldn't even form a proper sentence right now. You looked at Todoroki, visibly distressed as to what to say. You heard a cheery giggle from Rei as you looked at her youngest, amused by how nervous you two were in her presence. <laughs> you two are so cute, she laughed a calming feeling washing over you as she said that. You swore you lost ten pounds from how stressed you felt moments before. Come, sit down. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, and most importantly, your name. 